Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Toxtricity. Now Toxtricity does have quite a lot of possible uses. I have gone and created six sets. I'm a little bit overboard. Some of them are relatively similar but I thought I'd show off just kind of the variants that you can have with Toxtricity. I will say now, Punk Rock is the only ability that I'm going to be showcasing um, because this basically you receive half damage from sound moves and um, your own moves have 1.3 times power. Then you have plus as an option now, unless you're running like a minus um, Kling Clang, I think Kling Clang gets minus, then I don't, I, don't, I don't think it would work. And Technician, whilst it's a lovely move, uh, a lovely ability, honestly, a lot of Toxtricity's good moves come from um, sound-based moves, so Punk Rock is always going to be your best option. First set we have today, I've got like three generic sets, sorry, and then two Dynamax, and then one gimmicky set at the end, or one different set at the end, which I think is really cool. So first set we have is a Choice Scarf set, uh, basically increasing up your speed, and then move-wise we have Boom Burst and Overdrive, which are boosted by Punk Rock, so you get 1.3 times on that power automatically. Overdrive boosted by Stab as well. Sludge Bomb, which is a powerful poison type move and has the chance to poison. And then Volt Switch as well, just in case you need to get out of there or you need to essentially just fake out a um, attack so you can then switch out into another Pokemon. Obviously, do be very cautious of um, ground types for this and Earthquake, for example, because obviously you're four times a week, so it is going to be a huge concern. You can run Air Balloon on any set that you want to because that will give you the opportunity to have to be hit first. Um, so that's one thing that you can do. Now move-wise, I've gone... Sorry, um, EV-wise, I've gone for max special attack and max speed with a timid nature, so more speed and less attack. As you're going Choice Scarf, you could go for a modest nature if you wanted to, depending on what speed tiers you're looking at. Um, it's your personal choice there. The second set we have is more of a kind of HP design set, it's more of a supportive set in a way, and on here we have Toxic, which will allow you to rack up damage on different Pokemon, it can prevent sweepers from setting up, or basically limit the amount of time they can spend on the field, but along with that we have Hex, which is doubles its power if the opposing Pokemon is status, and we've got Venushock, which is a poison move which is already boosted by Stab, and the power of that is doubled because of the Toxic, because the Pokemon is poisoned. So you already have two moves which are really benefiting from you toxicing the Pokemon. And then you've got Overdrive as a, another move to use and it's boosted by the Punk Rock. Just in case, for example, you have a Poison type come in because obviously um, it would be a little less difficult to tox... A little more difficult, sorry, to toxic a Poison type Pokemon as well as a Steel type Pokemon. Got Leftovers on here as the item. You could go for something like Life Orb if you wanted to. Um, it's an option for you to go for. And Eevee's gone for Max HP and Max Special Attack with Modest Nature, so more Special Attack and less Attack, and four Eevees in uh, Special Defense. The third set we've gone for is a um, specially Defensive set. So this is a little bit different on how you run it. So. We've got Overdrive and Hyper Voice again, boosting the Punk Rock there. You could run Sludge Bomb if you wanted to, uh, which would allow for you to uh, potentially poison the Pokemon if you didn't want to Toxic them, for example. And we have Volt Switch on here to get out as well. So this is more of a utility Pokemon. You could run Max HP, Max Speed if you wanted to here, but we've got Toxic racking up the damage, Overdrive and Hyper Voice doing a lot of damage, and then Volt Switch to get out there when you need to. EVs, max HP, max special defense with a gentle nature, so more special defense and minus defense. That is wrong. I must just put it in. Um, I put this in wrong. It will be a calm nature and there'll be four in special attack. Um, you could run this with max speed and max HP as more of a support Pokemon. It is definitely an option for you to do, but that is just another idea of a set that I came up with. We've then got. Um, the other Toxtricity, and I was just saying the difference between Toxtricity, I think the, um, is it high key or the, the low key form I think gets access to Venom Drench and the other form gets access to Eerie Impulse. I think that's the only difference between them. It's just that there's one move difference and to do with the natures that they are as well. So on here we've got, and I, as well actually, I should say 
both of these moves are interchangeable on these. I know that there's only certain ones that can be certain natures, but you can mint them uh, once they're evolved and they will still get any nature that you give them. So just set, put them out there. Now this fourth set we have is a Dynamax set. We have the Assault Vest on here. You could run Life Orb, you could run Choice Band, any option really if you want to go for it. Uh, we've got Drain Punch as essentially the main move here, allowing for you to Dynamax and basically Max Knuckle multiple times. You could also set up the Sun if you needed to, set up Electric Terrain, um, or even raise up your special attack with Gunk Shot if you've got an ally there that might need it, for example. So you can use any of these attacks. They are usable. But um, obviously, once you're back down from your Dynamax, you've got access to all of your moves. You've got Thunder Punch and Gunk Shot, which are strong moves. They're both boosted by Stab. Fire Punch, just to hit a variety of different Pokemon, including Steel types, um, for super effective damage. And then you've got Drain Punch, which hits other Pokemon as well. EV's gone from max HP and max attack with an adamant nature to more attack, less special attack, and four EVs and special defense. As you are done to Dynamax, I would say go for the max HP to try and live as many hits as possible, uh, just because it might become problematic trying to set up and then potentially being hit and knocked out before you can. Now we have Gigantamax Toxtricity, and I've forgotten what its overdrive does when it's Dynamaxed. Um, I think it's G-Max Stunshock, which I'm just going to very quickly check on here. This is probably a mistake. I should re-record this, but you know what? This is what happens. So, G-Max, um, no, that's Pikachu. You've got, yeah, it is G-Max Stunshock, and it para poisons or paralyzes the opponent. So, yeah, I should have remembered that. Um, Poisons or paralyzes the po the opponent, again, about 50% chance to do either, and it, both of them have benefits. Again, it's kind of difficult when um, you don't know which one you're going to get, so yeah, just be careful with that. Uh, Move-wise, again, going for overdrive, setting up that um, electric terrain if you need it. You've got Sludge Bomb, which will uh, raise up your special attack. Boom Burst, which again is boosted by Punk Rock, and then Volt Switch as an option to get out of there if you need to. And then when you're back to normal, you can use Overdrive or Boom Burst to activate the Fruit Spray and raise up your special attack by one more stage, which again is really usable. And the final set, this is probably my favorite set if I'm honest. We have Shift Gear and Life Orb. Essentially Shift Gear is a better version of Dragon Dance, raising up your speed by two stages and your attack by one stage and not having anything brought down, which is really quite nice. Um, and then move-wise we've got Drain Punch, Poison Jab, and Wild Charge, so moves that I've basically all talked about before. Wild Charge does take your health down, so do be cautious of that. Um, EVs, you can go for max HP and max attack with a um, Adamant Nature, or you can go max speed. It, as you go in Shift Gear, I wouldn't recommend going for uh, the Timid Nature. No, the Jolly Nature. I wouldn't get, recommend going for the Jolly Nature. Um, just because you're going to double your speed anyways. That is all for Toxtricity. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so have a good one, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>